Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Sagar Prachapati, your host, your instructor and today I am going to discuss about the Gen AI LLM course which I have built already and which is available over my website. Okay, so let me share the screen and let me give you the uh, brief like you know what you will be learning in this course and uh, what are the prerequisites and so. Right. Cool. So let me do that. Here the course build AI application. And here we have list 10 LST 10 coupon code. So let me cancel it. Now you can see we have built AI application using Databricks and LLM. Okay, so uh, till now only 55 students have enrolled and we have like five star rating based on two rating. Two means two rating means two people. Okay, or two students we can say. So here what I am gonna teach you that. What I'm going to teach you is that, you know, uh, the course cur curriculum is I have divided this, uh, uh, this, this project into seven modules and we have like architecture and prerequisite. You can watch these two videos for free to understand the architecture problem statement as well as the understanding of the data set. Then I am using here AWS workspace of Databricks. You can use Azure also. See, basically what was the problem is what was the problem was that I was not able to register on Azure, uh, Microsoft Azure using Databricks since I already have created a couple of account in the past, right? And I did not have a credit card at that time. That's why I went with the AWS and almost, I mean, not almost means almost, yeah, 99% features are similar. Uh, ever like uh, we, if we compare AWS Databricks and uh, Azure Databricks, right? So it's not like, you know, it is different. And I am using here S3 bucket. Instead, you can, I mean, if you're going with the Azure, you can use what? Gen2, nothing else. Okay, the source files are present in the S3 bucket. In my case, in your case, the source files will be present in the Gen2. And then, you know, you, you can see like prepare source system, everything is given over here in just data. So I am telling, I mean, basically I have done here the both, both the work, data engineering work and the uh, AI engineer work, I, I, I can say, or LLM engineer, right? So ingest data from S3 to Unity catalog, cleaning the branch data, ingest data into gold layer, vector search, embedding model, set up model serving endpoint and build a streamlit chatbot app. Very good, right? Now, if I tell you the architecture, so I was telling you that, hey, I will be using, I mean, I am using here SC Burger bucket. If you are, if you are taking this project, you will be using ADLS if you're using uh, Azure, right? So basically you can see it, it can be anything, right? And all the files, what are the files we have? To, we are dealing with five types of files related to patient data, healthcare uh, domain, right? So basically for five CSV files are present over here, one of the parquet files also. And we have to bring this data into branch layer into Unity catalog using autoloader. I'm using autoloader for that. And then cleaning the data. And we are doing lake house monitoring. We are using lake house monitoring to understand the data. Then putting the data into silver layer uh, after cleaning, like, you know, after formatting it and removing nulls and blah, blah things, we are doing it, right? And then, then we have a gold layer. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm creating here a business uh, table or a master table right in the gold layer. And then the, the game is on. So we have vector search. So what I'm doing, I'm registering an embedding model. I'm using hugging face, hugging face model. You can also use Databricks foundation models also for that. But I'm using hugging face, for, hugging face model. And uh, what, what is that? Sentence transformer mini LM. Right. So if you want, you can also use some other one based on your need. Right. So I'm telling you how we can register. Actually, first we have to register into a catalog and then we have to register into model serving endpoint. Right. That's what I'm doing over here. Then we have vector search endpoint. This is a very simple thing. And then vector search index, how we can create the embedding and so. And then data, we are using database foundation model with, with our prompt and then register model to Unity catalog and then model serving endpoint again. Right. And then and then what I'm uh, I'm 
I am basically doing. I am using Databricks app, apps and I am using Stimulate app to connect the model serving endpoint and do the chatting with the chatbot. And with that, what I'm doing, I'm also using a workflow, data governance, ML flow and apps, right? So we can say, well, I am I have set up the complete pipeline for it. See, once we get the data into the source system, it will refresh the brown data, silver data, gold data. And again, we have to refresh the vector search index. Indexes, we have to refresh it, right? And once it is done, then we have, once the vector search index has been uh, uh, has been refreshed, then we have we we can trigger the model serving endpoint and we can ask the question right? so that's what we are doing it so this is only the first use case and second use case i am going to work from tomorrow with most probably which will be the which will be the recommendation system so if you go to if you visit amazon website mintra website some other website right so if you buy a blue color blue color t-shirt it will recommend you to buy a green color t-shirt also or maybe a blue color jeans so how we gonna how we gonna you know build those kind of uh, models or those kind of application how it works actually so i'm gonna uh, i'm 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 gonna talk about this in our next uh, uh, in our next course and basically not net next course in this course only i will be creating a new project a new kind of folder or new kind of module we can say right and we'll try to uh, you know solve the problem so basically uh, maybe the the scenario can be changed you can you can check check the website after one week and you will let you know and you will you will know that you know what is the scenario but basically the main goal is to build multiple llm models multiple llm ai applications so that we, we i mean see in this course what i I miss many things like to be honest I miss many things but I want to cover the uh, again the same thing with extra with extra stuff that's why I'm building again a new new course for that so that we can uh, I mean we can get a different different flavor ka, uh, 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 you know the problem is when we can get it and then we can we can build those applications right so I hope that you are gonna take this project and know that to be honest, you will understand how these things works and then later you will explore by yourself. Because when I was newbie, like six, seven months back, I did not know all this stuff and I was like confused. Hey, how can I learn it? How can I learn it? Once I build this project, now I understand, okay, this, these are the steps. Now what I can do, I can go and use ChatGPT, take the help. Um, for, for the coding as well as to understanding the purpose and then I can build any project. At least the basic project, not the optimized way. Optimized way means uh, LLM should not take too much time, right? Or it should not take too much money. We should optimize the model. We should optimize the prompt. So those things we can enhance it. See, I mean, you you are a data engineer. If you have built this much, it's too much. It's enough. And then some other person come and they, I mean, with with uh, with the help of them we can improve the uh, performance, right? So basically the goal is to build at least. It's not like not building anything, not doing anything, right? So, okay, with that, I'm saying thank you. Bye-bye, we'll meet you in the next lecture.